Barack Obama, John McCain, two candidates, one winner. The battle of the headlines is about to begin. First, here's the pregame analysis with Ted Stantley and Gary Beckers. That's right, Gary. We are within 100 days of the presidential election, and uh, we are really, uh, I mean, the media attention is more and more important, isn't it? That's absolutely right. And, uh, um, you know, Dan, this is really, this is really, Hang on, I don't even think he's trying. <laughs> are you eating? That's a pancake. Just start the quarter. The battle starts now. Here's Glenn Beck with today's headlines. John McCain, headline number one. McCain's focus on Georgia raises questions of propriety. I don't even know what that one means. John McCain's number one media problem. <laughs> I'll bet you it's that the media doesn't like him. Uh, headline number three, in split role, McCain advisor is sometimes a lobbyist. Headline number four, McCain running a tighter, less rambling campaign. It's time for halftime analysis with our own Ted Stantley and Gary Vickers. Wow, what a very interesting first half. I tell you, Gary, you've got to have a lot to say about that. I certainly do. I don't know that I really like you only do, <laughs> you only you only do this for comedy reasons. That's it. I mean, you're not even in there trying, Dad. You're supposed to have twelve thousand calories by the end of the show. Go on, as I can, Glad. <laughs> Just start the second half. The second half starts now. Once again, here's Glenn Beck. And here we go. Headline number one for Barack Obama. Obama faces the smear machine. Headline number two. Obama campaign. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Obama campaign reaches out to gay Georgians. How about all of them? Headline number three. American troops put their money in Obama. And headline number four. Tallies indicate troops favor Obama. Barack Obama comes out on top. Gee, what a freaking surprise. 